Each patient we see has a unique and distinct puzzle. These pieces of the puzzle include lots of things. They include patient history, family history, whether or not there's a clear understanding of the diagnosis. A real strength of our practice is our ability and our desire to put all the pieces of your puzzle together. We bring the whole picture together, and for you, this picture will be clear and will be in focus. Our board certified oncologists and our oncology trained support staff, including our physicists, our nurses, our social workers, and our dietitians, are all here to put this puzzle together. We all work to put you on the path to wellness. At the Ackerman Cancer Center, we're committed to taking patients from diagnosis to survivorship. We are here to provide high quality, state-of-the-art, focused radiation treatment for our cancer patients. Radiation therapy is the use of ionizing radiation to control the abnormal growth of cells, whether they're malignant or benign. Radiation therapy is also used for non-malignant conditions or benign conditions in which there's overgrowth of tissue or cells, such as keloids, you can have inflammation such as warts, and also conditions that cause fibrosis such as Dupuytren's or Lederhose disease. Now, Dupuytren's contracture is in which the hand has this nice network of fibers that surround your ligaments and tendons, and it's actually those fibers that become thickened over time, and they form nodules and cords. And when that happens, if we let it continue on, it begins to contract the fingers downward as they scar. What we found is that by applying radiation therapy to the Dupuytren's contracture in its early stage that we can actually keep the contracture from becoming symptomatic 85% of the time, but you gotta start the radiation early with just the small nodules and the small cords. When we see a patient with Dupuytren's contracture or Lederhose disease, which is the same condition on the foot, we first do an examination of the hand. We see where the nodules are, we see where the cords are, and we try to map them out. Frequently, we get some imaging studies, an MRI or a CAT scan, so we can see exactly the depth of that nodule and the length of those cords in the hand. We then map out on the hand exactly where we want to treat, and we work very closely with our physics staff to determine the depth that the radiation needs to penetrate. Medical physicist is used in radiation therapy to handle and be in control of all of the technical aspects of the treatment of radiation to patients. We're involved with the radiation protection to the staff, the patients, the patient's families, anyone that comes into this facility. A medical dosimetrist is a healthcare professional who is trained in the different modalities of radiation treatment planning. Kind of like a special effects artist that in a 3D movie that takes the physician's vision for each patient's treatment plan and brings it to life and makes it a reality. Everything is customized for that patient. There is nothing that's done stock. We design everything specifically for them. We use almost any imaging modality and we have great treatment planning computers that will utilize and fuse all those images together to give us the best idea of what's inside the patient and how we can create a plan to not only protect the patient, but to treat with a therapeutic dose. Each of the treatment plans that are created are extremely complex. So we have backup programs that double check the time for each of the treatments. We oversee the inclusion of that into the patient's plan. We have to have an accurate determination of what is delivered by other means. And that's where the physicist and the equipment that we have at our disposal becomes important. For the Putrin's treatments, we bring the patient into the room and they'll stand as we have their hand on the table. Um, the doctor will come in and draw the area that he wants to treat. From there, we'll do the setup and we'll make a special lead block for them. Um, after that, they'll be treated for five days in a row, a total of five treatments. They'll have an eight week break and then they come back and we do them five days in a row again for a total of 10 treatments, five before the eight weeks and five after. 
The treatment times for Defuturans is really short. The patient's in the room for less than a minute by themselves. The setup takes longer than the actual treatment. Side effects for Defuturans or later hose disease are minimal. We rarely see side effects. It's an extremely well-tolerated treatment. If you do experience any discomfort, please let your nurse or your doctor know and perhaps we'll prescribe a medication to manage the discomfort. We're here as much as you need. Here at the Ackerman Cancer Center, we have a whole host of support services for our patients. It really is one of the strengths of our practice. I have found that support services are very integral to the delivery of cancer care for our patients. The services that our nurses, social workers, and dietitians provide improves the quality of life for our patients through treatment. My role as financial resource coordinator is twofold, basically. That is financially and uh, their insurance, particular plan that they may have. It is very overwhelming because the word copay, the word deductible, the word out of pocket is very confusing and complex to some. So I can reassure them, no matter what, we will work through this with you. We're here to be resourceful and compassionate at the same time. I have the capability of reviewing each and every insurance plan with them. I'm here to assist you, to walk with you, to hold your hand and accommodate you the best way that I can. And you will be taken care of. Patients are concerned about follow-up care. Once treatments are complete, what happens next? We are always here for you. Well, we will schedule follow-up appointments as deemed necessary. We will never lose sight of you or your process of recovery.